looks this guy up ahead in the red hat. I was just uh, looking at my phone. And I think he's seen me out here filming before. So he comes up and he's like, you fucking film me, I'll break your phone. I'll break your, you know, he's a homeless person. Uh, starts freaking out. I'm gonna break your phone. I'm like, I'd break my fucking phone. So, you know, I'm not good in these situations. <laughs> so he's like, you look like fucking Marilyn Manson. Oh, do I? Let's see. Not really. Yeah, he lost his shit on me. Uh, so, uh, he wanders off. And um, that's the thing, like, you'll get these people sometimes that, like, it's always, like, a homeless dude. Because, like, they're looking for, they're looking for any kind of thing they could get involved with. Even if it's negative, you know? So it's like, I roll around on the ground with this guy, and then what happens? He's just a homeless scummer. He climbs under a fucking rock. I'm the one that has to go to court, pay whatever fine. And I kind of don't want to roll around on the ground with that guy. So, uh, we just yelled at each other for a few minutes. I wasn't filming, she wasn't even filming. But I think he's seen me out here before filming. And, um, yeah, so he, they always think you're, uh, you're filming them or you're taking pictures of them. Like, uh, you could just be taking pictures out here. And like these fucking scumbags will come out, they'll, they'll pop their head out of a trash can and say, oh, you can't take my picture. It's like, what, dude? Like, like I'm out here. Yeah, fuck you. A lot of fucking assholes out tonight. Let's go. I gotta got go do ice somewhere. Well, I will give that guy in the car something. He may have been upset that I was walking, but at least, at least he didn't run me over. I'll give him that. I didn't even notice he was behind me because, uh, you know. Everybody walks up through here during the day. But, uh, of course I get the shit when I want to do it. <laughs> it's alright. I'm the real victim here. Right, let me see, can I make this walk across? Yeah, so, uh, I, I have a hard time in those situations because immediately I want to start, like, um, jumping on people and throwing hands, but I can't. I can't. Nothing good would come of that. Nothing good would come of that. Now that I think of this guy, um, this one that freaked out on me, he was, uh, I think I saw him earlier. Yeah, I was walking by where him, and, there's this area where they all hang out over by the, uh, over on Kalakaua, and they just antagonize uh, um, tourists you know, yell shit, try to start shit. They'll take a fight because they're looking for any kind of connection. So I think he, he saw me walking by and uh, filming. And of course, you know, uh, it's him I'm, I'm filming, right? But uh, I think he thought, he seemed to kind of figure things out in his head and he, he just fucked off and left. That, and I, I don't fucking back down from these fucking scumbags. But the thing is, uh, I, I probably should just immediately uh, turn, turn and leave. But, but I, I can't. It gets, it gets to me too much. Like the arrogance. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm out here filming fucking homeless scumbags like you. You fucking dirty ass motherfucker ruining the fucking area with your bullshit. You know? I haven't seen them either. I used to have a pretty good memory for the, my street mutants. And he, uh, he looks like a new one. So yeah, I lost them. I let him get ahead a little. You know, when I first started filming, it was him like just up the end of the street. And, uh, I don't know. 
Kinda. He's got a red hat, so. But then why would I go looking for him? It's only trouble. It's only it's I, it's only trouble for me. It's not trouble for him. He'll slither back under a rock. And uh, yeah, what would, here's what would happen if if we got in a mix up, me and this guy. Uh, nothing. Cops wouldn't show up until after whatever uh, went on. And then they'd uh, collect me and put me put me in the back for cruiser. <laughs> and he'd just go on and they have like, they give these people free reign to do whatever they want. They don't bust them because they don't want to deal with them. And there is some fear there on the, on the uh, police side. Not, not like they're afraid of the guys, but I think they're afraid of getting in trouble, like of doing the wrong thing. Uh, this is a very blue state, and in blue states like this, the um, you're kind of a they don't really they're not tough on criminals. You're kind of a depending on the kind of person you are, you're kind of allowed to do what you want, and um, it's eventually it's, they're going to take a hit. In the pocketbook, you know, they're, they're going to start see. I think they're already seeing it. It's real violent. The violence, you know, I've been doing some reporting on that. Schizo reporting up 42 percent, less than two years. Why would you try to drive out? You see, I have the light. See, this is just fucking people, man. They're crazy. But um, yeah, that 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 thing is is to just kind of walk away. I gotta get better at that. But to me, it's like, I get really upset because I'm just out here, citizen, doing my thing. It's like, who the fuck are you? Well, I'll tell you what it is, it's contentment. I talked about this before. These, um, <laughs> I almost, I almost use a real bad name. The, uh, yeah, my, my empathy for these homeless shitbags it is really run up because the, the new style of homeless guy out here it kind of used to be a community that, that policed itself you know when I first came here uh, people knew who the assholes were and didn't get much traction but um, after the uh, after the fucking um, pandemic and the lockdown kind of moved everybody around there's like a whole new crew and they're younger, dumber, and a lot more aggressive. And like I said, like if you, some of these people, there's just nothing you can do. Like right now, like I'm just walking around, one of these fucking scummers could jump out of the fucking bushes and say, "Stop filming me!" As if. It's so weird. I don't think they actually think I'm filming them though, because you know, unless I'm like. A photographer for fucking Street Mutant Weekly or something like why would I why would I do that it's just they just want to start trouble they want to start trouble yeah my empathy is like you know when you see the you know the uptick in problems here uh, the way they just fucking do whatever they want you know, the, the guy with the ha getting the hatchet in the head on the bus a couple years ago, the woman who had had to have facial reconstruction surgery because one of them whacked her in the face. They're just, they're fucking ticking time bombs, you know? They're just ticking time bombs. The cops won't mess with them. You kind of have to protect yourself, you know? I always carry something. Not something I can, can get in trouble for, though. So fuck you if you want to kind of, you know, entrap me in something. You're not gonna. Um, I think the the best thing to do with uh, with some of these guys is try to find like a common ground, try to talk to them. You know, I know that's like, the hardest part, the hardest thing to do, because I don't want to do that. Uh, I want to do other things, but the hardest thing to do is to try to uh, try to talk to them. Like, hey, man, you know, look, blah blah blah. You know. That's what I should be doing, but it's so hard. They're just, they're such assholes.
and I get and it gets my uh, it gets my Irish up, you know. One thing you can do is you can't back down. If they if somebody wants to knock it, they want to knock you out. That's what are you gonna do about that? You know, there's nothing you can do about it. How you doing, man? What's going on? Hey, little doggy. Have a good night, man. The um. Yeah, if they knock you out, they knock you out. I've been knocked out quite a few times. I don't have a glass jaw. I have a fucking glass face. But, uh, yeah, he, uh, he was screaming, shouting for a few minutes, and then he just turned around and walked off. And then followed him for a little bit. And then, uh, yeah, I'm thinking, why are you following him? What are you going to do? You know, I'm getting another shouting match with him? What's, what, at, for what end, you know? That's say, like, the thing to do is ignore, walk away. But the thing to do is try to talk to them. You know, say, hey, man, what's going on with you? What's, uh, how's it going out here? I don't know. That's, like, what God would want me to do. And not uh, calling that a. a <laughs> I, I use some bad words. I drop some words there with them. But the thing is, like, you know, he he start he fucks off. The altercation's over, and then it's me screaming in the middle of the street. You fucking dirty bum! You fucking dirty! And it's like now I look like the asshole. You know using the F word over and over again. I don't think you can say that anymore. The F-A-G word. Yeah, F-A-G-G-O-T bum. You F-A-G-G-O-T bum. That doesn't make me popular. You know, people that walk around that neighborhood, like gay people here, they don't like that shit. I don't want to freak out like that, but you know, I can't help it. I gotta be cooler. I gotta look. It's just uh, when someone gets in your face, uh, I just I, I revert to fucking old shit. You know the old ways. I can't do that. I gotta just be cool. And just walk away because there's there's no scenario there where I achieve satisfaction <laughs> at all. You know, certainly not in like a physical altercation. I mean, it doesn't matter. Uh, even if I was to get the best of them or something, then what? What, what good is that? I don't want that. Um, the thing is like just to just be able to walk around unmolested is a lofty goal these days in cities, you know, because, uh, you know, people are they're upset, they're in pain. They're in pain, and they wanna share their pain. Like fucking Spock's brother. No, he wants you to share his pain. What was that anyway? Spock never had another brother out of nowhere. Well now, if you, if you watch uh, Goofy New Track, he has a sister too, who's much smarter and more capable than he is. Like, because of course, because of course she is, right? Yeah, so, whatever. You're gonna get these kind of things out in a city, you know. It just happens. But the, the good thing is uh, there were cops out there. Not where I was, you know, of course. But uh, they, were, they were standing on a corner way down away from anything. Like over by Longs. The quietest part of that strip. Uh, there was a, a guy cop. I couldn't really tell. I didn't really get a good look at him. I couldn't tell if he was young or older. Kind of short. And uh, a female cop. Whatever. I mean, that, that's good. Instead of nothing. Not the most commanding fucking show of force, but... And, you know, they're near their car. They have their car parked. 
to me it felt like they were just doing it to shut people up. It was like, all right, we're here, fuck you. Because they're not where the people are. You know, they're not where, you know. They're not where the people are. Like, like it, I was saying in that situation, if the guy did uh, attack me, as he, you know, and break, he's trying to break my phone, and I told him, fuck you, you're a F bomb, you're not gonna do shit. Start screaming, you know, you're, you're retarded. I shouldn't be in that situation. Uh, I wasn't even filming that. That's the whole thing, like, I wasn't even doing anything, but he saw me earlier. So it's like, what are you supposed to do? I'm not, you know, I better not film anymore. Fuck that, fuck these people. You know, it's always been like that here, though. You go to take a picture of the fucking ocean, some fucking homeless guy will come out of a fucking barrel and say, I, you, I want money for that. Yeah, it's tough, man, because, like, there is empathy there. It's eroding pretty quick, though, with me. Um, all the older guys, homeless dudes I used to hang with, have a cigarette with or a drink or something on the, on the beach, they're, like, gone. I was talking to my wife about the uh, the replacement sort of theory, and she agreed. Yeah, she goes, "There's all kinds of new people here." You know, she meets a lot of people at her work that have just moved here. She's like a lot of young people, and um, she's like, "But the population didn't didn't move at all, and a lot of people left." But it doesn't seem like there's you know a lot of open space here. It's like, uh, it's like there was a switch. There was a, uh, all these people got out and all these people came in. And since that switch happened, uh, we've had the statistical jump in every conceivable uh, crime measurement. I mean, it's like it, you just, you, it's happened. It, it, it happened, you know? So, um, yeah, whatever. I'll keep, uh, keep abreast of it. The one fucking time I'm not filming. You know, I have that thing up. I'm kind of glad though, because I didn't. I, I didn't come out of that good. <laughs> oh my god! <coughs> it's my long COVID. That must be what it is. All right, I have to go in and uh, get a shower, take my Marilyn Manson gear off. Don't blame the teacher. Blame the school. <laughs>